Hey y'all, Matt here from Super Niche Sites. In the video today, I'm going to be covering exactly what I do in regards to buying things on Amazon to increase my Amazon earnings. I'm gonna be showing you step by step what tools I use and how I use those tools and all of those sorts of things. This is gonna be an in-depth video showing you exactly what I do along the way for each and every step when I'm looking for products to buy. Now, why would I buy products? Well, if you've already got the first several hundred items done around your home that you already own and you're making decent money, I would recommend that you reinvest that money into buying additional items on Amazon. Because when you buy those additional items on Amazon, what it does is it allows you to then increase your earnings, assuming you buy the right items, which is what this video is going to be about. I'm gonna be showing you exactly what items you should buy, exactly how I do the research, to buy items. Now, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I've made a variety of different videos on how to get into the Amazon Influencer Program, specifically the on-site video, how much money I've been making through that, and that sort of thing. But if you haven't watched any of those, last month, the month of November, I made almost $11,000 just from Amazon on-site videos. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about in regards to growing this up and building this up, and I've only been in the program for four months. So in four months, I went from zero to making $11,000 in a month. So I know a little bit about buying things and then how to make sure you buy the right items that need videos and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm going to be covering in the video today. Now I'm going to be showing you two different softwares. I'm going to be showing you Zoof and then I'm also going to be showing you something called Sortio X. I'll explain what each one of them does along the way and then you can decide if you want both, but just want one or just want to do it all manually. You can certainly do that as well. These two tools just essentially are going to save you time. So let's go ahead and hop into that. Before we do, please be sure to hit the like button and then also subscribe to the channel. Let's get to it. So first things first, this is my Zoof backend. So here on the backend of Zoof, there's a variety of different things you can do. You can use Opportunity Finder, but I'm gonna be specifically focusing in on the keyword finder. Now Zoof is specifically designed for Amazon sellers. So that's why it's set up for like this because it's designed for Amazon sellers to find new products. But I love using both this keyword finder and then also the Opportunity Finder inside of Zoof to help me find good products that I want to see if they have videos. Now, if you're just using Zoof, you're probably gonna want to just use the opportunity finder but if you're using Zoof in conjunction with something like Sortio X or even Fluencer Fruit or some of the other tools that are on the market then keyword finder is where it's at and let me show you what I mean by that so what I'm going to do first I'm going to type in a keyword so I'm obviously working here on my computer I'm showing you that I'm sitting at a table there's chairs around me there's a chair that I'm sitting on so I'm just going to type in chair and then I'm going to click search now why am I doing this because what Zoof is going to do is it's going to give me all of the all of the most search things that have to do with chairs. So for example, you could just start off manually on Amazon and type in chair, but it's gonna come back with a bunch of different things and then you're gonna to have to try and narrow it down. Whereas this on Zoof is gonna tell me, okay, number one with the search volume in regards to chair is gonna be gaming chair at 1.4 million. Then office chair at 495,000, then beanbag chair at 280,000, desk chair at 245,000, vanity chair at 188,000, chair itself 139,000. So you can see if I would have just typed in chair on Amazon, I only would have got this, the products that had a search volume 139,000 versus by going into Zoo first, I know typing in gaming chair on Amazon is 10 times more popular than just typing into chair on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down here and when I'm doing keyword research, I'm gonna start with the one at the top. So right here, we're just gonna go with gaming chair and we're gonna go over here to Amazon. And then this is going to then be sorted by featured. You can also change this. What I typically would do is I will change this to sort by best selling. And let's go ahead and do that. It's Amazon and I'm screen recording, so that's gonna cause a delay. But let's just click on best sellers. Now it's going to reload all of those best sellers into here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, it's gonna have a delay, especially again, because I'm recording this here on my computer, so there's going to be a delay. But Sortio X is going to load in over your search page. And you can see here, right here at the bottom, it says Sortio X right here. So Sortio X has a ton of different data that you can have it pull up. I only have it pull up influencer videos because that's what I'm mainly interested in. You can pull up ratings, video carousel, whether it has it or not, video slots available, low stock, your video, so if it has your video or not, influencer commission percentage, influencer commission dollars, all of that sort of stuff. But for me, I'm just looking for the number of influ influencer videos. So you can see here, this one has five, 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 zero. Now you might think, oh man, zero, that's gonna be great. No, because if there's zero influencer videos, that likely means there's not gonna be any videos at all on it. So I'm 
I'm not gonna click into anything that's got five or anything that's got a zero. Now a three might be pretty decent, so let's go ahead and click over into this one. What I'll normally do when I'm using Sortio X, because it reloads every single time you click out of it, I'm gonna like right click on the title and open it in a new, in a new tab. You can see here it said it had three videos, so I'm always going to double check it. Now, this software, whether it's Zoo for Sortio X or anything, only pulls in the data that Amazon gives them. So you can see here this says it has five videos, so I'm gonna click into this to see if it actually does have five videos here. I'm gonna mute the sound so it's not gonna to be too loud. And you can see here it's got two from the brand and then scrolling down it has three from influencers, which is again what I was looking for. It said three. Now with a hundred and something dollar product, I'm probably not going to buy it with three videos typically. However, with this one and if I, this would be a great option because look, this top one just says watch this before you buy. It's 34 seconds long. This next one is 18 seconds long. It is game on with this chair. And then this last one is this, the cat has a favorite chair and it's 50 seconds long. If I was into gaming and I was in need of a gaming chair, I would 100% buy this chair. You've got three videos. All of them are super short, which means they're not going to go into detail about does it need assembly. They're not going to go into unboxing, that sort of thing. You can also see that this one says that there's 5,000 bought in the past month. Okay, it's a $112 item, so it's pretty expensive. But at 5,000 bought in the past month, that's going to be a lot of sales. Not only that, but then you've got all of these different variations. So you've got the color variations. So you've got black you've got blue, you've got red, and then you have the white that we're on. And then you have the faux leather, faux leather or the classic. So that's gonna give you a lot of variations that you can get, then get additional sales on. Now, Zoof is also going to give us sales data. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna click into Zoof. And then I'm gonna look up the sales data for this specific item. So this is gonna be the opportunity analyzer. And it's gonna tell you exactly how many sales this has had in the last month. Now again, this software does not get perfect data okay but according to this software in the last month this gaming chair has told, sold 2.7 million dollars worth of products now if you go off of amazon's number okay let's close out of this go off of amazon number 5,000 of them bought in the past month times 112 that's going to be 500,000 and then you got four different variations so that's going to be 2 million and then you got some one of them's going to have full leather leather and classic and so what zeus does it takes all of that into account and says Okay, they're gonna be $2.4 million in sales for this gaming chair. Now again, most of the time, I'm not gonna do an expensive item like this if it has three videos already, but being that this has three videos that are gonna be incredibly short, people are not gonna be like, oh man, that answers my question when it's an 18 second video. They wanna know, is it comfortable? They wanna know, does it require assembly? They wanna know, what does it actually look like? Maybe they wanna know the actual measurements. Like on the Amazon listing here, it's gonna get the product dimensions. So it's gonna be 29.6 inches deep, 23.6 inches wide, 50 inches high. But they wanna know, okay, how does it adjust up and down? Like, what does that do to the height? How far off of the ground is it? You can give all of those measurements and those sorts of things, and that's gonna be a stellar video that people are then going to watch. And this is a $112 item. So you buy this item, and then off of one sale, you're gonna make a good amount of money. Now I can scroll up here and see Sordio X here at the top, and you can see it still says the three influencer videos. So let's look at my influencer commission. So I'm gonna check box that. For every sale, for every one of these I sell, you're gonna make $2.54. So essentially, you have to sell 50-ish, 55-ish of these chairs, just doing quick math in my head, for you to break even. Now I prefer to find items where I don't have to sell that many to break even. Like I prefer cheap items that have high commissions or I prefer things that are a little bit cheaper. So you know, it's like $20, but maybe the commission's a dollar so I only have to sell 20 of them to break even, something like that. I prefer those sorts of items. But being that this one is going to have um, oh shoot, I clicked into something. But being that this one is going to have those three really short videos, this would probably be a really good chair to go after, okay? It's a gaming chair, comes with a footrest, you can give the dimensions on the footrest, you can sit in it and talk about that, talk about the swivel, talk about how it sits on the floor, how comfortable it is, all of those sorts of things. So this would be an amazing item. And I just found this in one of the first ones that I clicked into. And again, I got this info, inf, this info I wouldn't even thought about going into gaming chairs, by going to Zoof, typing in chair, and then looking and seeing what's the top one. And then I'm using Sortio X and going through and looking at those. Now we're gonna go back to the search page here. Now Sortio X loads right onto the search page. So that's why I typically will right click onto these 
and then open it in a new tab because now Sortio X has to reload on this search page. So I can get a little annoying over time. You know, you're going back and forth, you have to wait for it to load. And sometimes, depending on your connection, your Wi Fi speed, that Sortio X can take a little while to load in. So you can see here it's loading the influencer commission as well. I'm going to click that off as I'm really only in interested in the influencer videos again. Okay, so again, we got three here, we got zero here. Four, I probably wouldn't mess with, but that one with the three and the, all the three were, were really short. Awesome. Now, if you were, if you've been doing this a while, like I have, you might want to check into the four because I have found that pretty much when I make a video, I pop up to the top anyway. And this one has seven thousand bought in the past month, so it's probably going to be pretty good in regards to um, sales numbers in regards to how much money you could possibly make on these. But you really have to look at like the four. And if you're starting out, I probably wouldn't do anything with the four. If I'm starting out, I'm looking for things that are ones or twos. So I'm just gonna keep going down here. Again, I got a three, so that'd be another one that I personally would check into. I've got a couple of fours, I've got a zero, I'm gonna skip that, scrolling down some more. Okay, here's a one, perfect. Okay, so here's a, says it has one influencer video. Now again, you're gonna wanna check this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and open in a new tab. And then what I'll normally do when I'm going through and researching this is I'll do one page at a time. So I'll just keep on scrolling, looking for ones that are ones or twos. Again, there's gonna be some threes that you could check out if you've been doing this a while. Okay, here's another one. So I'm gonna click that, right click. I'm gonna open a new tab. I'm gonna keep on scrolling down here. I got zero, five, zero, zero, zero. Keep going down. Four, three, five. Okay, here's another one. So I'm gonna right click on that and open that in a new tab. Five three zero zero zero. Okay, so here's a two. So this is a kids gaming chair. Okay, I'm gonna open that up as well. I'm gonna keep going down five zero. Now you can see these haven't loaded in. So Sortio, because as I'm scrolling down, Sortio hasn't loaded these in. So what I'll typically do, okay, that loaded in pretty fast. You can see this popped up there. What I'll typically do is while I'm waiting for this to load in, I'll go in and look at these other ones just to kind of uh, make good use of my time. You can see this one also has one. So I'm gonna open the link in the new tab on that one. I'm gonna scroll down. This one also has one. And again, I'm gonna be looking using Zoof to see what the sales are on all of these here in a minute. Now, being that I've got all these tabs open, I'm also recording here on my computer. This is gonna seriously slow down the computer that I'm working on. So hopefully that's not affected by the video quality here, but it's gonna slow down Sortio X as well. Normally, once you let the page load, Sortio X will load all the way down. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and go into the first one here. So you can see here, this one, I believe Sortio X said it had one or two. You can see here it's got 2,000 bought in the past month. And then right here at the bottom, it says three videos. I'm gonna click into that just to make sure it actually does have three videos, and it does. It has one from the brand, and then it has two other ones. So I've got 57 seconds from this person, um, so from this influencer, and then I've got a minute four from this one. Again, we're talking $100 items, so I really feel like a minute is pretty short. Like, I can't imagine that they covered all of this, inf all of the information that you're gonna wanna see. Like she's basically just showing it off. She's sitting in it. I mean, it looks like she's showing it. Yep, she's showing it reclining back. Um, so that's that's pretty good demo wise. Um, she's just moving around, showing it on rollers. So she's not giving you like actual measurements and those sorts of things. So being that this is going to be a pretty expensive item, gonna have probably a lot of sales. I'm guessing. I'm gonna. Pr I, if I was looking for a gaming chair, I would probably go after this. Again, two thousand bought, ninety four, ninety eight. But let's go up here in Zoof and see what the actual sales numbers are. Now again, Zoof is estimated. It doesn't have any more information. It just has the software and it guesses and those sorts of things. But you can see here, okay, it's got this one at 280,000, 280,000, 280,000, this one 320,000. So it's saying combined between all of these, you get $1.1 million in sales over the last 30 days. Basing that off of what Amazon says, that's probably pretty accurate because Amazon says 2,000 of these were bought in the past month at 94.98 plus shipping each. So 120, let's see, $30, so $125 or so per chair times 2,000 is gonna be about that 200 and something thousand dollar mark per variation. And then you've got all these four different variations that you can choose from. Now, here's why I like doing it this way. Oftentimes, if you can find items that have variations, this is a huge trick. Okay. If you can find items that have variations, your video, let's say I buy this purple one, my video will often, not always, but often show up also on these other variations. So if I buy this item, I do tag this specific product, often Amazon will also show my video for the pink one and for the blue one and for the black and white one. It'll show up for all of them. You saw there on the video that I was looking at the purple one and the two influencers on there had the black and the white one. 
Well, why? Because they, that was the exact same thing. So it was looking at that specific one and it showed it for the other variations. And that happens all of the time. So you're not just going to get um, a portion of those sales of the 200,000. If you are one of the only ones that are showing, so there's only two influencers showing, typically you can have up to five influencers as long as there's one from the brand. You can have up to five influencer videos. Amazon's been testing more, but traditionally it's been five more. So in that case, then you've got two more slots. So what I would probably do if I was gonna buy this chair is I would do one video recording doing an unboxing of this gaming chair, showing you exactly what needs to be get inside, and then also the assembly. And then I would do one testing it out and giving the measurements and how far it lays back, and when it lays back, how long is it, and does it have a foot rest, and does it go up and down, I'm giving you all of the data about it after that. So I would do two separate videos to take up those last two slots that are available here. And then assuming people want a more in-depth review on than just a minute on a hundred plus dollar, hundred plus dollar item, then I, they should click down and watch mine. Like maybe like, man, how much assembly does this require? They're gonna watch that assembly video. Or man, I wonder how long it is or if it's gonna fit my frame or how wide I am versus how wide the chair is. Those sorts of things are really important. And so this would be a great option to purchase in that scenario. Okay, so I, typically what I'll do, I'll find something good like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click add to cart. And then what I'll do is I'll save them for later. So as I'm going through then and buying, I'll then just go and I'll add one, you know, if I'm buying one a week or if I've got, you know, $150 that I'm gonna be buying for that month, I'll go through and do that. Now, this one showed one or two, but you can see here that Amazon is showing six videos and I'll show you why I believe that is here in a second. So again, Sordio X, yep, exactly. Sordio X showed that it has one influencer video, but you can see here the ACE Bayou Corp, one, two, three, four, they have five videos, and then one influencer video at 16 inches. Now I, or 16 seconds, sorry. I 100% believe that I could kick this influencer out just by doing a good video, but I do not ever want to buy items that have um, a full carousel like this from the brand. At most, I want like two videos from the brand. Anything more than that, and that means there's less room for you as an influencer. So on this one, there's one influencer video, but there's only one influencer spot because the brand has taken up all of these spots with their own videos. And that also means that for people to see your influencer videos, they have to actually scroll down, which is unlikely to happen. So I do not buy anything where these brands are putting all of these videos up here at the top. I don't know why they do that. Truthfully, I don't. I really feel like brands should understand that us as influencers putting out videos on their stuff is going to help them convert better than their like people trust real people rather than the brand putting out these you know these promote promo videos so i feel like if you're a brand on amazon you man you should do maybe one or two showcasing that maybe an install or something like that but you shouldn't fill up the carousel like that that just seems silly to me so not gonna buy that chair so they also lost out on the sale like maybe if that one only had one influencer video then maybe i would have bought it but being that they filled up the carousel with their videos then i'm obviously not going to buy it so they missed out on a sale there Okay, this one again is gonna have one influencer video, it says it has three videos total. So that's going to be one influencer and then two brand videos, most likely. So let's click into this real fast. Yep, and as you can see here, one video, and then it has two from influencers. So Sordio was giving me the wrong data, and that does happen. Sordio pulls in data from Amazon. So sometimes if Amazon's saying, oh, there's only one influencer video, but then they recently put one up, then Sordio's gonna be off by one. That does happen sometimes. Sometimes it'll be off by one or off by two or that sort of thing. But still with only two influencer videos, that'd be good. These are longer ones, so a minute 39, two minutes 34. So that's probably going to be, those are gonna be better quality videos. But let's look at these at the uh, sales numbers here. So this one says a thousand bought in the past month at 150 bucks a piece. So that's going to be 150 thousand times three. So that's going to be about 450 thousand. If you didn't have Zoof, that's how you can do the math. Uh, I just did that right there in my head, just a thousand times the 151. But with Zoof, I'm going to go ahead and run this through as well. And so Zoof is just going to take a minute. And you can see here Zoof is saying that there's more sales than that. Amazon typically will only do like. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So let's say they sold, like this one says they had 1,500 monthly sales. So that would make sense to me, okay? Because um, Amazon will only do it like even a thousands once you get past a thousand. So at 1,584, it's only gonna say, okay, there was a thousand sales when there was actually 1,500. So that's where you're gonna get the additional sales from. So again, total monthly revenue is 689,000. Now, I'm not gonna go through and do all these in gaming chairs. I'm gonna go, go through and do some different ones just to kind of show you it's not just specific to gaming chairs. However, 
I did want to point out one thing before I leave this example. So here in gaming chair, this gaming chair had $689,000 in sales. Compare that to the first gaming chair that I looked at, the one that had $2.4 million in sales. That means I am assuming everything is identical in regards to the price, in regards to the commission, in regards to, ev in regards to the number of videos, in regards to me getting that top carousel. Assuming everything's the same, I am going to be likely to make four times as much from that item that had $2.4 million in sales than I am going to be one that has a $689,000 in sales just comparing them by the number of revenue. Now again, that's assuming that the, that the um, commissions are gonna be the same, that I'm gonna show up number one and that people are gonna watch my video and then click and buy and all of that's gonna be the same. Assuming it is, we're looking in the same category, assuming that's all gonna be the same across. If I only have a hundred and something dollars to spend, I will be much better off spending that on that one that had the $2.4 million in sales than I would this one that's got $689,000 in sales. Now the thing about this is you can actually extrapolate this out to similar categories as well. So I like to buy items that have more than $100,000 in sales, monthly sales, according to Zoof. That's me personally. And the reason for that is because I can get kicked off of carousels pretty quickly. Like I might be up there for a month or I might be up there for two months or I might only be up there for a few weeks before a bunch of people then pile into that product. I don't know. So I like to give myself as much of a likelihood of profit from that item as possible. So if an item's got $2.4 million in sales and it's got two influencer videos and then I've got another item that's got $689,000 in sales and it's got two, two influencer videos, I want hundred percent go after that one that's got 2.5 million. I've got a four times, I'm gonna be four times more likely to have it become a profitable product than I am with this one that's going to be a little bit cheaper. So just something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. All right, so let's close out of all of this. What I'll typically do is I'll just go product by product and I'll just work through an entire section. Okay, so I'm gonna close out all of these gaming chair ones. You can kind of see how I did that there. And then what I'll typically do is, um, and this, this, since I was off it too long, it's gonna reload like this. But then what I'll typically do is after I go through and do that, then I'll go on to page two and three and four and et cetera. So now let's go, back, go ahead and go back to Zoof and let me give you another example. So now that I'm back in Zoof, let's go ahead and go for something that's going to be cheaper. Obviously gaming chairs are going to be really expensive. Chairs in general are gonna have a lot of expensive items, that sort of a thing. So let's think of something that might be cheaper that someone could afford. So obviously it's Christmas time, so right behind me I've got stockings. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, I typically wouldn't recommend buying something that's going to be super seasonal like st stockings unless you're planning on doing it for Christmas time, but that could give you some other options. So I've got Christmas stockings, stockings, tights for women, Christmas stocking, personalized Christmas stockings, Christmas stockings with names, Christmas stockings with names, tights, thigh high socks, black tights, dog stockings, Christmas. Okay, so obviously because stockings is going to have two uses, so it could mean like Christmas stockings or it could mean like tights for women. You could do videos technically on any of those, but you've also got like compression stockings, you could do compression socks, mini stockings, that sort of a thing. Now, one thing you will wanna keep in mind when looking for things to buy is you want to find things that are going to require a demonstration. So if I've got stockings, it's probably not gonna require a demonstration very much, just because like who's gonna to need to see um, like what a stocking looks like. So let's go with a, let's go with kitchen, appliances all right this is going to be a big one there's going to be a ton of different kitchen appliances obviously but let's just see what that comes up with. okay now if i were to type in kitchen appliances on amazon it's going to pull me up a, hun a ton of different stuff right but when i typed in kitchen appliances on zoof and this is the power of zoof it's going to show me the ones that have the most search volume. So I can see here Instant Pot is has in the last month $373,000 search dollar. 373,000 search volume. Blender 311, Ninja Blenders 287,000, Kitchen Gadgets 222, Crockpot 211, Kitchen 141, Ninja 129, Crockpot together 120,000 and you're going to get different results depending on how you put it. So if I do this Crockpot Let's go back over here to Zoof and this Crock-Pot. And I look at those, they're going to give me similar results, but it's not always going to be the same. So if I, I'm gonna bet if I change this to bestseller and then change the other one to bestseller. Come on. There's bestseller there. Let's go to this one and let's change this one to bestseller. 
And again, it's going slower because I've got so much stuff going on on my computer. This typically won't take this long on Amazon to load. Okay, now I'm going to change to that one to bestseller. Okay, so my top one is going to be this pink one that sold 20,000. Same here, pink one that sold 20,000. Then I've got this silver one, then I've got this silver one, this silver one, and that silver one. Then I've got black, then I've got silver. Then see, see it's missing this black one on this one. And so that might not seem like a big deal, but it can be because sometimes you can find a diamond in the rough when it's showing on, so this one was for the space in between crock and pot, and this one is showing together, and that black one is not showing here at all on this together one. So maybe that black one is going to not have videos. I don't know, we'll see. But let's see, five, looking at this one here, and it had five as well. Okay, so it's not a diamond in the rough, but it could have been. And that's why Zoof is good, because it gives you all of these different variations that you can test out and that you can find. So let's scroll down here, let's keep looking. We got five, 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 five. A lot of these are gonna either have full carousels or not have a carousel at all because it's a popular kitchen item. Like you should expect that with crock pots. You're gonna to have to go probably pretty deep into the best sellers. Well, here's a three. All right, so that one might be decent. Let's click to open that in a new tab. There's a zero and a five and a zero and a five, zero, zero. Okay, so we finished the full page and we only had that one that had a three. Now let's go over here and see if we can find any that have less than that five there's that three that's going to be that same one that two and a half quart one zero five zero 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 five 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 and zero so you can see here that this is going to be a much higher competition one than say the gaming chairs that i was in so if you find something like this don't get discouraged just go back to zoof and keep looking but let's look at this crock pot here real fast so this one it has a total of four videos Okay, so then that's, uh, Sorio X said that it had three influencer videos, so that's probably gonna be accurate. So let's go ahead and look here real fast at the number of videos. And yep, you have got one from the brand, and then I've got three from the other one. So I've got a two minute one, so that's gonna be number one, and I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a pretty good demonstration. But let's click into that just to kinda look at it and see. Um, and then you got a 58 second and a 46 second. Those are probably not gonna be as good of demonstrations. Not, not that you can't give a good demonstration in a minute, but I mean, if somebody's spending 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever, they're probably gonna want more detail than that. Okay, so this one has it in the box and they're just talking about it for a bit. And let's see how long they do that for. 24 seconds, 38 seconds. Okay, so they first open it up at the somewhere in the, between the 30 and 40 second mark. So they're almost halfway through the video here. Yep, there they go. So they opened it up here and we're at 44 seconds. So 44 seconds in and they're just now opening this up. Not a huge fan of that. Like if I was recording this video, I would immediately show myself, like show the front of the box, say I'm gonna unbox it. I immediately get into the unboxing, show how it comes out of the box, show everything that's gonna come inside. I then show how it's set up and that sort of thing. But three isn't horrible. Um, if, you, if you're brand new, again, I'd recommend going for ones and twos, but a three isn't the end of the world for sure, especially because the brand is only gonna have that one video. So let's go and look at Zoof and see what we have for sales in regards to this one. Now this is only gonna have one variation, so the sales are gonna be less. See, so if on this one, if this item had a bunch of different color variations, then I would probably go out, be much more excited about going after it than this one that only has one variation. Because I've already gotta compete with three other people on here, and my total monthly revenue is only gonna be 145,000. So to me, this is not one that I would go after personally. Even though I, I'm sure I could rank, I'm sure I could rank number one for it, I'm gonna be competing against three other people already. And then on top of that, it's only for 145,000 in monthly revenue. If this had a white one and a red one and a blue one and a black one and a bunch of different color varieties and the sales on each individual one was 145,000, then that means I'm, it's gonna bring my total way up there. It's gonna be 600,000, 800,000, a million, whatever possible monthly sales. But since this one only has one variation, then it's only gonna be that 145. So I probably wouldn't do that. Let's go back over here to Zoof and let's see what we can keep finding um, things that might be less popular. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep looking down here. Okay, so Panini Press, probably not something that everyone has. Same thing with Sandwich Maker. Both of them are gonna be pretty similar, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Excuse me. But let's look and see, let's sort by best sellers here on both of these and let's see what different variations we have. And this is really the usefulness of Zoof, again, because I might type in Panini Maker or Panini Press, but 
I don't know which one's gonna have more whatever. So if I type in Panini Maker, it's not gonna have as much search, search volume as Panini Press, and I'm gonna get different results. So that's why Zoof is so helpful because it's gonna give you that data and that information. So I changed the Sandwich Maker over to Best Sellers. Let's go ahead and do that on here as well. There we go. Pop that open here. So my top one is gonna be Hamilton Beach Dual Breakfast Sandwich Maker. And then this one over here is going to be the same, Hamilton Beach Dual Breakfast Sandwich Maker. Then I've got Hamilton Beach Breakfast Sandwich Maker. My second one is going to be the same. Then I've got this one that's got the pictures of the croissants and those sorts of things. Going to be the same on that one as well. Keep scrolling. Going to be that one. Then I've got this one. So it's a sandwich cutter and sealer. And I'm going to guess... Yeah, that one's not gonna be on there. So again, difference between putting in Panini Press and Sandwich Maker. I never would've thought, oh, Sandwich Maker, all right? But this one is going to come up, whereas it's not gonna come up on Panini Press. All right, so those are, those are gonna be different variations. All right, this one's got three videos on here, so we'll click over into that one. And what, you do, what it does when you open a new tab, it opens it right next to you here on the top. So you'll then click into those. Let's just keep scrolling down through here. I got five, there's a four. Again, you could go for a four. I prefer ones, twos, or threes. There's a two, all right. And it's only a $13 item, so it doesn't not necessarily super expensive, so that's good. Let's keep scrolling, there's another two. Okay, so you can see we're finding these, even though these are the best sellers. Like we got 2,000 sold in last month. It's only got two influencer videos on it. Okay, so let's keep scrolling. Again, Not we don't wanna look for fives or zeros. Um, okay, and we got all the way to the bottom and we found three in that one. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll, go over here. Um, this is the same one that I already clicked on for the three. Let's go down here. I've got a five, five, five. There's a four, that's that same four. Again, I might go for this one if I am like out of ideas, things that have fours, but there are so many ones, twos, and threes. Pretty much if there's a four, I don't even bother with it. Just me personally. Okay, this is a two. I know that's the same one that we looked at on the other one. So I'm gonna keep going down. And Sordio hasn't even loaded, there's a zero. Okay, and then these are gonna be sponsored, but I'll still look at the sponsor ones. The sponsor ones aren't obviously aren't gonna be like the best sellers, but since I have Zoof, I can look and see how much sales they actually have. And if they're spending money to, money to actually sponsor them, then it might be worth a shot. And these are gonna be a couple of additional ones that I looked at. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of that one. And then I think it was this one. Yep, so I'm gonna close out that one. And again, I'll probably go like page by page by page. But let's just look at this one real quick, okay? So this one says it has six videos. Influencer videos was I think only three, if I remember correctly on this one. Let's click into it and see what, what's up here. And again, this is something you're going to want to make sure you walk through the process and do on every one. Okay, so it said three, Sordio X said three, and it is wrong. So I've got one, two, three, four, I've got five videos here. So I'm not gonna buy this. Yep, Sordio X was wrong, sometimes it is. That's a par, par for the course. I feel like I've got two from the same brand here. So if I only had those two, or if I had like five that were all made by the same person, then I might go ahead and grab this. But since I've only got two from the same person, I'm probably not gonna not gonna fool with it. I'm not gonna mess with it. I've got a couple of really short ones. So 12 second one, a 17 second one, and then a 50 second one. So these two, I feel like I can easily beat, and I feel like I can knock down one of these as well. So I feel like I could probably be like number two, maybe number three. But being that it's a full carousel, I there's plenty of opportunities you don't have to go after those ones that are borderline so i don't okay so let's click over into the next one here and this one's going to say it has four videos i can't remember again if this was a two or a three let's click over into videos here let that load up again it's going to be loading slower um yep gonna have three videos so it's got the one from the brand and then three so 50 seconds two minutes and a minute 37. so these two are going to be really good um, I'm gonna guess they're gonna be getting the majority of the sales. People probably watch this 50 second one and then click over to the next ones is gonna be my guess. But this isn't gonna be a super expensive one. So it's got three, both got two long ones. I, that one's borderline for me. And again, anything that's borderline, I'm not gonna worry about, especially because this doesn't have variation. So it just says the black one. If this had a white and a red and a whatever, but I'm gonna guess at $13 times 3,000, that's gonna be like 50, $60,000. So let's see what Zoof actually says. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be like under that $100,000 that I want per item. Yeah, 24,000, yeah. So it said it had 1,700 sold. Amazon said 3,000, uh, Zoof is estimating below that. But either way, it's still gonna be borderline. Even if it was 50, 60,000 with it being borderline, I wouldn't go for it. That's just, again, me personally. Okay, so let's look at this one. 
This one's got a couple variations down here that you can see there, so that's good. So that means I'm gonna have a chance at additional sales. I love ones that have variations. Variations is where it's at, y'all. So let's go ahead and look at the videos here and let's see what they have in regards to video length. And so this is gonna have two from the brand and then two from influencers, okay? I don't mind having two from the brand. Not the end of the world. Most people are gonna skip those anyway. Like they don't need to see the promo video. They're gonna, they're gonna scroll down. These are gonna be longer ones, two minutes and a minute 42. All right, so that's eh. Okay, it's borderline again on those. Like they're longer ones. I wouldn't mind, I don't mind complete competing, but it's got four videos, so it's gonna have two slots. Let's look at what we have, what we have for sales. With only those two variations, I'm gonna guess it's not enough. Yeah, 64,000. So if this was only had one influencer video, I might go for it, being that it's only $20 average price. I might go for it. I like the ones that have a lot of monthly sales and the average price is lower. That's just me personally, I like to spread out my risk. That means if it's $20 items, I can buy five of those in comparison to one of the one of those gaming chairs that I did at the beginning of the videos, or maybe even more because they think those gaming chairs had shipping on them actually. So let's go ahead and look down here. Okay, now this is something I'm interested in. Again, it was a sponsored one. Okay, so it's only gonna have one influencer video. So sales are probably not going to be as high on this one. So let's click in and double check here. Yep, so it only is gonna have one. I always double check everything. I'm gonna go over here to Zoof, 119 times 300, that'd be like 30,000 or so. Something like that, 36,000 if that's accurate. Yeah, that's not accurate. So Zoof is showing 141 monthly sales and so it's only 16,000. So I'm probably not gonna go for that. But this is what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for ones that have additional variations or looking for ones that have higher sales. One influencer video is exactly what I want, ideally when I'm looking for things, so stuff that's got one influencer video. Okay, so again, it's gonna have one influencer video. Amazon says 100 bought. Doesn't look like it's got any variations either. So this is probably gonna be, I'm gonna say below 10,000 probably, if I had to guess. But let's look real fast. And yep, really low, only 1,200. So again, those were those last two were sponsor ones. So I knew going in, they probably weren't going to be the best, but I still like to click on them, especially because they only had the one influencer video. So essentially, that's how I do my research when I'm looking for items to buy. I just spend the time going through, going through Zoof and finding random different ones that might work out well, that are a good price. You can also do other things via Zoof, like that Opportunity Finder, which I'll probably show you in another video. I'm sure this video is already getting way too long and most of you already left anyway. But I did just want to kind of show you my step-by-step -step process on how I do it using Zoof and using Sortio X. Now, I will leave, leave you links down below in the description for both of these items. Um, I'm not I have I signed up for an affiliate just for this video but I'm not pushing these because I'm an affiliate I literally use these on a daily basis using the method that I just showed you that's hundred percent how I use both of them if you don't have the money for Zoof it is pretty expensive you can get by with just using Sortio X you're just going to miss out on some of those things like I wouldn't have thought to put in sandwich maker versus panini press Okay, and you're gonna miss out on like some of those variation type things that are gonna pull in random different ones. So there will be some products you're gonna miss out on, but you can do it using just um, Sortio X because you can pull up like BSR, so best seller rankings on Sortio X. You can pull up you know the number of influencer videos and those sorts of things. And that's really gonna be the most important anyway is gonna be the number of influencer videos. Like that's the number one thing I'm looking for. And then after I see, okay, there's spots in the top carousel, then I'm gonna look and see, okay, what's the sales for that? So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Again, my name is Matt. I'm from Super Niche Sites. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. I'd love to answer them. Love to help out in any way that I can. Have a great rest of your day.